Welcome, benevolent merfolk and dear sweet children to Townsend Harris High School's production of Disney's The Little Mermaid. As you join us under the sea, please make sure to silence all your gadgets and gizmos. I don't think they work very well underwater anyway. Because the world above is a mess right now, we ask that you keep your masks on during the performance to ensure the safety of our sea creatures and our audience. We wouldn't want to have to give you the hook. For audience members with light sensitivity, our show includes strobe lighting effects, so be advised. Finally, in the unlikely case of an emergency, find your way to the nearest exit quickly and calmly. Oh, look at the clock. It's about time for my concert to start. Sit back, relax, and enjoy my show. Sebastian. And enjoy the show.
<laughs> hey, guess what I found today? It was floating in the wake of a giant ship. Treasure? I'll say, look. Have you ever seen anything so amazing in your entire life? Cool. What is it? I don't know. Empty check, altitude check, landing gear check, clear the runway! Squawk! Ugh. Hello, Ariel. But I know just who to ask. Scuttle, look what we found. More human paraphernalia, eh? You've asked the right bird. I happen to be an expert on this very speciality. Can you tell us what it's for? Oh, this is rare, redonkulously rare, and in cysteine condition. What? What is it? It's a dingle hopper. A dingle hopper? Commonly used in salons, yes, of the beauty variety. Humans like to wear their hair and tails, pony or pig or duck. It's all the same to them. Just a primp here and a twirl there and voila! A pump is durable, and it's all thanks to... The Dingle Hopper. Give you two sand dollars for it. Scuttle, no! I'm telling you, kid, on the open sea, you won't get more than a few clamps, but I'm prepared to offer... I'm not selling it, Scuttle. I'm saving it for my collection. How's about a swap? I got something stupilicious. Museum quality, really. Abandoned, bulbous, snarf flat. Ooh. Second cousin to the tuba. It makes music? Sure thing, kid. Why, it makes music so fantabulous, so absolutely marvelous. Music? Oh no, the concert. Oh my gosh, my father's gonna kill me. The concert was today? I completely forgot. Come on, Flounder. Thank you, Scuttle. You ever change your mind and want to sell Holy Birds, you hear? <laughs> Benevolent merfolk, creatures of the deep. Today marks a special anniversary. For many years ago, on this very day, I inherited my father's kingdom and banished the sea with Ursula forever. All hail King Triton. And so, it is time to celebrate our victory. In honor of this occasion, may I introduce the master of ceremony. Presenting the court composer, Horatio Thelonious Ignatius Crustaceous Sebastian. Good morning to y'all. So, tell us, Sebastian, what have you in store for us today? I got a special song just for the occasion. And it's going to be performed by none other than your seven lovely daughters. I wrote this little number for my star pupil. And who might that be? Your youngest, Ariel, such a voice, that child. Notes as clear as ice, pitch as pure as water. Why, I haven't heard such magnificent sounds since, well. Since her royal highness. May she rest in peace. You're going to be a proud papa, you'll see. If only she show up for rehearsals once in a while. Let the merriment commence. Oh, 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 oh,
times? Aren't we better than that? You are better than that, yes. Honestly, Daddy, let Ariel get away with everything! Now, 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 I love all my daughters equally. Oh, please, the answer is as scant as tuna and twice as oily. Ahem! <clears throat> Arista's prettier than Ariel, Adrina's smarter, Alana's sweeter, Atina's older, <laughs> and Adela. <laughs> Let's be honest, Daddy, you're the only male attention Adela's ever gonna get. Hey, okay. what have you got that Ariel doesn't? A naked ambition and a willingness to kill! Hey! Fight! Fight! Hey! Fight! 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 One son, one son, Sebastian. Was that too much to ask for, to hope uh, for? Please, sire, don't go pointing your puppy straight at me. Oh, sorry, Sebastian. You might go whipping up a hurricane by mistake. <laughs> well, look at what the catfish dragged. Daddy, forgive me, I'm so sorry. There, your young lady. Uh, I just forgot, that's all. Due to your careless behavior. Careless and reckless behavior. Yes, yes. The entire celebration was ruined, <laughs> completely destroyed. This concert was going to be the pinnacle of my distinguished career. Sebastian. Now, thanks to you, I'm the laughing stock of the whole kingdom. We gave him a day to the whale of a guy. I'll take back the frog. Why are you so excited? The hell is enough. Ariel, please. You've been given such a gift. I know. My mother's voice. It is a talent that requires stewardship and care. So please, for the sake of your mother's memory, I will, Daddy, I promise. It wasn't even Ariel's fault. That know-it-all seagull started going on and on. Seagull? Seagull! You went up to the surface again, didn't you? Nothing happened. They could have seen you, those barbarians, those humans. Daddy, they're not barbarians. They are dangerous. Traps and harpoons and... Like it or not, Ariel, you are my youngest, my baby, and so I worry about you the most. But I'm old enough to look after myself. As long as you live under my reef, you will obey my rules. If you just listen to me for once. You are never going up to the surface again. Understood? You're so unfair. <sighs> Heaven help me. She's headstrong, willful, stubborn as a barnacle. Teenagers, give them an inch and they swim all over you. I can govern an entire kingdom, but I can't control my own daughter. I was too harsh on her. She learned to fear me. I don't want that. She's her mother, Sebastian, and so do I. If only she were here, she'd know just what to say. She'd firmly and yet gently help the girl to find her way. She'd know what to forbid. And what we must allow She'd have the strength and patience That I lack somehow Oh, what I would give to have her back Right No, no, sire, it's difficult, sure But you gotta toughen up, not melt down For Arya's sake I'm telling you that child needs constant supervision Someone who can watch over her Keep her out of trouble Yes, someone to watch her every move. Her every dog paddle. Her every side stroke. Her every dive. And you are just the crab to do it. What? You heard me. From now on, Ariel is yours and yours only. Uh, mine? But your majesty, she is a clever mermaid. I'm just a crustacean. Surely you ought to pick someone higher on the evolutionary scale. Oh, mistress of the deep, beauty of the brine. You should have seen it. All those merfolk singing Triton's praises and cursing your name. Declaring a national holiday. Holiday, my blowhole. It's a day my brother Triton got really got A day for my help in the kingdom. To think your very own flesh and blood. <gasps> and he double-crossed you. His own sister, casting you into exile, a life of shame and unceasing solitude in the shadowy depths of the serpentine sea. All right, all right, don't blow your fuses, boys. It should have been mine. Little pearls, pretty as could be, perfect to achieve. All
up for me Ugly as a slug, hideous to hug Daddy found me lonesome and disgusting I could chill They all got adored, I just got ignored Left to ease this guilt of magic shell Used to belong to my father Poseidon Full of lethal hexes and spells, my little sea snakes The perfect gift for a spurned, dangerously unstable child Most of all, Daddy loved one sister so feminine, so fresh, so fine I would watch as he hugged and kissed her And I hid her guts from the bottom of mine Daddy's little angel, daddy's little sweet Such a little frilly fur She was seaweed and spice and everyday nice And I dreamed and I schemed how she put her on ice Daddy's little angel, how could I compete With a girl who heaven served Just one spell from the shed Wash up on the shore, sadly five and six were never found. And it didn't make my father love me, Aww. but it didn't bring me down, oh no. It was sad, though when dad caught the rare and very lethal flu. So true for you. With no sisters in the line above me, I inherited the whole damn show. Was it fun? Oh, what time? So much fun. I forgot that my dad also had an additional talk. If the sun still ate one, but I think so what? Till that's not no little baby groom. yourself. I'd miss you if you were gone. You would? Not in a soapy way. Not in a crazy, hopeless, I'm so in love but she doesn't even know I'm alive kind of way. Not like that at all. Oh, I gotta go. Flounder, you're very sweet. Daddy's never even met a human, but he still thinks the worst of them. I just don't see how a world that makes such wonderful things could be so bad. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? Wouldn't you think my collection's complete? Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything? Look at this trove, treasures untold. How many wonders can one cavern hold? Looking around here, you think, sure, she's got everything. I've got gadgets and gizmos aplenty. I've got who's it's and what's it's galore. You want thingamabobs? I've got 20. But who cares? No big deal. I want more. Oh, feet. 
are required for jumping, dancing, strolling along down the, what's that word again? Street. Up where they walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. What would I give if I could leave? Child, you got trouble on the mind? Sebastian! What is all this? Uh, just a few knickknacks I've collected, that's all. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. If your poor father knew about this place, he'd... <laughs> You're not going to tell him, are you? Oh, please, Sebastian, he'd never understand. Listen to me, Ariel. For my sake, as well as your own, it's time you kept your mind on your music. From now on, you'll have voice lessons every day. And perhaps you can take up an instrument, something ladylike. The harp, maybe. A ship. Yeah. A nice harp. Made out of your wood, the parade, and another of pearl. Ariel? Hello? Someone's gotta nail that girl's fence to the floor. Ariel! try to take a princess sailing, their crinolines get caught in the rigging, and most of them can't even swim. Swim, sire, is that a prerequisite? Sure, if we go sailing. Where am I going to find her, Grimsby? A girl who's as carefree and alive as the sea itself. Where? there, a girl who's a match for a guy like me? Perhaps you're not looking hard enough. I've never seen a human this close before. Me neither. I thought you were an expert. Understop, sure, but Egad's the sight of death? Horrible! That square jaw, those broad shoulders, and two eyeballs the same color. No variety. I don't know. I think he's really handsome. You do? Trust me, Grimsby. When I come across the girl of my dreams, it'll hit me like lightning. 
Hurricanes are coming! King Thrive must be angry indeed! Man the hatches! And everyone below deck! And quickly! Eric, take the wheel! Man off the boy! and she was singing. There, there now, my dear boy. You've taken a terrible tumble. That voice, I can't get it out of my head. It's the sound of the sea, that's all. No, I'll prove it to you. I'll find her and I'll thank her for saving my life. You've heard too many tall tales, my boy. Please, you have to believe me. You'd best come with me. A night of sleep and you'll be good as new. No, she was real. Yes, of course she was. As real as a siren, as real as a mermaid on the rock. Shoot, 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 shoot
Like the shimmer of the wind upon the water. Somewhere there's a girl who's like the glimmer of the sunlight on the sea. Somewhere there's a girl who's like a swell of endless music. Somewhere she is singing and her song is meant for me. And her voice, it's sweet. And her voice, it's warm as summer sky And that sound, it haunts my dreams And spins me round until it seems I'm flying You've been scouring the sea for weeks, and to what end? I vowed to find her, and I will. I have a better idea. On the eve of your 21st birthday, we'll host a marvelous ball and invite countless eligible young ladies from far and wide. I knew it. To sing for you. What? A contest. Why, what better way to find your mysterious voice? And you'll be married by sunset on that very day. Yes. Why, yes, that's how we'll find her. Indeed we shall. You have my word. She's out there somewhere. I just know. 
I can sense her laughter in the ripple of the waves against the shoreline. I can see her smiling in the moonlight as it settles on the sand. I can feel her waiting just beyond the pale horizon. Singing out a melody too lovely to withstand. And her voice is there as dusk is falling. And her voice is there as dawn steals by. Pure and bright, it's always near, all day, all night, and still I hear it calling. Her voice. Strange as a dream, real as the sea. If you can hear me now, come set me free, come set me free.
Sebastian. You just missed her. She slipped away. The thing she betrayed her family like this. Turn her back on her own kind. She can't help it, Sire. I taught her myself. Now she makes a mockery of everything we hold dear. Where is she? If I only knew. <laughs> she keeps secrets from me, Sebastian, and not you. I'm willing to wager that you know where she is. Now. Take me to her. To think this belonged to him once. He held this in his own two hands. Ariel! Ariel, is it true that you, you saved a human from drowning? Who told? Which one of you? I'm sorry, Ariel. I'm nothing but a guppy. Just a lousy guppy. You get every solo. It is not That's fair. Enough. Leave us. You too, Sebastian. So, is it true? I had to rescue the prince. You had to? Without me, he would have perished. He is a human. You are a mermaid. I can't hate him just because he's different. Perhaps you can, but it's just not in me. Different? They catch us with their harpoons. They spear us with their blades. They're not all like that. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? We don't know for certain. Can there be any doubt? You, you can't prove I know, no, I know it in my heart, and that's enough. Murderers, all of you them! You can't blame all humans for a few wicked ones. I won't have you build a shrine to them, worshiping their rubbish. The misery that sullies our waters. Daddy, no! Totems of their decadence! No! Never again, Ariel! Never again! Love me, and he'd never. Oh, child, it's because he loves me. Well, he sure does have a funny way of showing it. He can break every single treasure I own, but he can't break me. Yeah, well, you just might break his heart. And you! Some friend you turned out to be, bringing him here to my secret place. For your own good, child. I pray you wake up from this madness and soon. You're swimming in some dangerous waters. Just stood 
You're wicked and hateful. <sighs> but he says the same things of humans too, doesn't he, Snookums? And we both know that's not true, don't we? Why did he banish you? The ocean wasn't big enough for the both of us. And now he's turned you away too. He doesn't understand me. <sighs> oh, but I do, darling. We're so alike, you and I. Girls with ambition. Nothing scares a man more, doesn't it? Now. Tell dear old auntie everything. I'm in love with someone. Oh. A human. Mm, yes. This prince fellow, he's quite the catch. The answer is simple. You've got to become human yourself. Can you help me? Help you? My dear sweet child, it's what I live for. To help unfortunate merfolk like yourself. Poor souls with no one else to turn to. I admit that in the past I've been a nasty. They weren't kidding when they called me, well, a witch. But you'll find that now I mended all my ways. Repented, see the light and made a switch. True, yeah. And I found the talent that I always have possessed. Please don't laugh. I use it on behalf of the miserable, lonely, and depressed, pathetic, poor, unfortunate soul in pain, in need. This one longing to be thinner, that one wants to get a girl, and do I help them? Yes, indeed. Those poor, unfortunate souls, so sad, so true. They come flocking to my cauldron, crying spells just look and I help them. Yes, I do. Now it's happened once or twice. Someone couldn't pay the price, and I'm afraid I had to wait and cross the gold. Yes, I've had the art complete, but on the whole, I've been a saint to those poor unfortunate souls. Here's my best offer, babykins. I know a spell that will turn you into a human for three days. Now, it's got a procedural clause, sort of a squid pro quo. Before the sun sets on the third day, you've got to get dear old Princey to kiss you. If you do, you'll stay human forever. But if I don't? Oh, nothing drastic, darling, I'm sure. Oh, look, small print. Your soul is mine forever, and you're doomed to spend eternity in my watery household lair. Lawyers, don't you just love them? Of course. There is one more thing. My fee. But I, but I don't have anything. I'm not asking for much. Only your voice. My voice? Don't worry, darling. I've got the perfect place for it. Your grandpappy Poseidon gave his magic trident to your father. But this was his gift for moi. Your magic shell? 
You've heard about it. Father says it's the source of all your witchcraft. <laughs> Nonsense, darling. He says you'd die without it. Die? Oh, please! It's a fumble, a vessel for your voice. Trust me, darling, your vibrato, your legato, even your felt, they'll all be safe and sound in here. If I give away my voice, how can I ever? You'll have your looks, your pretty face. And don't underestimate the power of body language. The men up there don't like a lot of lovers. They think the girl who gossips is a bore. Yes, on land it's much preferred for ladies not to say a word. And after all, do what is idle brattle for? Come on, they're not all that impressed with conversation. True gentlemen avoid it when they can. But they joke and swim and fawn on a lady who's been drawn. If she holds her tongue, you'll get the man. Come on, you poor fortunate soul. Go ahead, make your choice. I'm a very busy woman and I haven't got all day. It won't cost much, just your voice. You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad but true. If you want to cross the bridge, my sweet, you've got to pay the toll. Take a gulp and take a breath. Go ahead and sign a scroll. Got some jets and now I've got a voice. The boss is on a roll. You poor. Thank you. 
I'll de-siphon it for myself. Ah, your hair too. You've been using that dingle hopper. She's got legs, you idiot. She traded her voice to the sea witch and got legs. No, not your beautiful pipes. Huh. You see, not a sound. Oh, kid, it hurts me to see it, but that? That was a lousy swap. Oh, what would her father say? Oh, I tell you what her father say. He'd say he's gonna kill himself or crap. That's what he'd say. He's got just three days. Three days to what? Make the prince fall in love with her. And to prove it, he gets to, I mean, he's got to kiss her. The prince? Well, if you want to snare the prince, you've got to learn the graceful way of perambulating. She'll do no such thing. Sure she will. Come on now. Upsy daisy. What's this? You giving up so soon? That's not like you. You gotta have a little gumption. A kid who kind of altitude. Taken from a gull who knows. Now look at me. You see this face? In terms of beauty, I'm the basket case. And as for style and stuff, a man will I guess there ain't a whole lot there yet. Although perhaps it makes no sense. I shrug my stuff with lots of confidence. Cause all I lack an awful lot. There is one thing I've got. I've got positivity. I've got positivity. It gives me the same in the sound with the yada lada lada. That's why I walk with the wiggle in my waddle. Cause once you've heard that word, there ain't nothing you can't do. So let that positivity work for you. Positivity? Why there's no such word? But there Right between popsicle and prehysterical. Believe you me, I've seen it work miracles. So with the bip and the bap and the ba ba boo, you can flip any flat till your wish comes true. The tip is to tap into something that you believe. Uh, I'm 
I'm sorry. You don't speak at all, do you? For a moment there, I mistook you for someone else. What is it? Uh, you're, you're hurt. No, no, you need help. Uh, a bit dizzy, aren't you? I've got just the remedy. A warm bath and a hot meal. Come on now, you'll be fine. The palace isn't far. Bravo, Ariel! Now that's what I call really the men. This is gonna get me in real hot water. Can you believe that guy? What a crap. searched everywhere. We found no trace of your daughter. So keep looking until you do. Yes, sire. I never meant to wish her ill, Daddy. I know, I know. But, you know, if she never comes back, and I'm forced to sing her solo, Don't call us, we'll call you. <laughs> we won't rest, Papa, not till she's home. Thank you, dear child. As if the loss of your mother wasn't enough. The poor child washed ashore like kelp. Perhaps it was a horrible shipwreck. We'll never know the truth. She will not speak. Not a single solitary word. Do what you must make for a sensible, a scrub in the tub, a proper frock. Getting your strength back, dearie? I can't help but wonder, what must she be thinking? I'd give a farthing or two just to hear her thoughts.
Good evening. Well, now I'm the one who's speechless. Hungry? across the table at my ugly mug. I must say, the bath certainly worked its wonders. She is groom for a groom, one might say. Easy, old boy, easy. My, isn't that unusual? Thank you. Oh, don't tell me she's fond of tobacco. Aha, uh -huh, it is the pipe. Can't say I blame you. It is an antique meerschaum from Dutteldorf. <laughs> Sorry, old friend, but it looks like your pipe smoked you. Very amusing. Yes. Well, she certainly knows how to make you laugh. Shall we? Look at the two of us, huh? What a couple of misfits. You're a quiet girl in a noisy world. I'm a prince who'd rather be a simple sailor. We're both fish out of water, you and me. What, did I say something wrong? Uh, I'm sorry, who needs words anyway? A smile says just as much sometimes. Nimble on your feet, aren't you? Dancing beats small talk any day. Why sure, it's the way your feet smile or laugh. It lets you say so many things. Dan. 
dancing is a language that is felt instead of heard. You can whisper, sing, or shout without so much as a word. Try it. Go on. Like so. Just let your emotions tell your body what to do. See how much a single gesture can reveal. And every little step, every single step, is one step closer to saying what you feel. Once the music hits you, inhibitions fall away, and you find that you're expressing things your voice there and say, don't be afraid, let go. Soon as you surrender, what's inside will sweep on through As the boundaries between us disappear And every little step, every single step Is one step closer to talking loud and clear A dance is like a conversation Except you never need to make a sound once you've begun, you speak as one give and take, back and forth, round and round.
those two things together, and you got that boy right in the palm of your hand. Now, off to bed with you, child. Don't be scared, you got the mood prepared Go on and kiss the girl 
you all right? Sebastian, what was that? Lightning? From underwater. Must be some kind of freak storm. I ought to head back. It's my birthday tomorrow, and we're hosting a contest. Grimsby wants to be married by sunset, or else. Oh, most merciful Triton, I pray you'll keep calm. Where is she? Where is Ariel? She'd be so angry if she knew I was here. I entrust my youngest daughter to you, and what happens? <laughs> I'll have you cracked, I'll have you shelled! He almost was! Your greatness. And you! You ought to be ashamed of yourself too! What kind of tragedy will it take? A tragedy involving the sea witch to be exact. What did you say? These two eels came and they took her straight to Ursula. She traded her voice away for a pair of legs. And if the prince is a kisser... Her voice? She traded away her beautiful voice to become a human? By sunset tomorrow, that child could be giving up her very soul. Her soul? And all to that wicked sister of yours. It is time that I settled things with her. Once and for all. Pardon me, young lady. Is there anything else you require before bedtime? Very well, then. You'd best catch 40 winks. It is a big day tomorrow. Prince Eric must choose his bride. Mustn't look so blue. The secret to happiness, child. We mustn't wish for impossible things. Good night.
I have lost her and it's all my fault. She's gone. I could say yes, but she's not here. <laughs> but, well, you see, her father rules all of Prussia. <laughs> she is richer than Midas, and she is one of triplets, but they are willing to break up the set. Oh, Grim. You will be the death of me, boy. What am I to do? The sun has nearly set, and your birthday is almost over. You must choose someone. Perhaps if we steal ourselves and take another listen. Ariel. Oh, heavens no, child. You mustn't. Shh. Wait, Grimsby. Be quiet and listen. Go ahead, Ariel. Oh, child, poor, lost child. I had so hoped, Prince Eric, that you might find love somewhere in this room. Perhaps I have. I've just been too blind to see it. But, but that's impossible. She hasn't uttered a sound. No? Well, that's funny because I heard every single word as clear as a bell. It must mean something, old boy. Perhaps it does. Can it be uh, another contestant? 
That's it. That's the voice. Oh, dear, this is an unexpected turn of events. Tell her the competition is over. Tell her she's too late. humans when I'm all alone. There's goodness in people, Daddy. I know it. I've seen it. Even when I couldn't. I'm proud of you. Your mother would have been too. Somehow, in the blink of an eye, my back was turned. You grew up. You love him very much, don't you? It's what she wants, Your Majesty. More than anything. Please. 
Very well. You belong to his world now. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you so much. Sunrise. We search again. But your majesty, she is lost. I won't rest until I've found her. Uh, look, sire! Ariel. Eric! Could it be? It's been your voice all along, hasn't it? Who are you? I'm King Triton, King of the Seas. Who's this guy? Astonishing. Why, I must say it defies plausibility. <laughs> Your Majesty, at last I found someone who makes me eager to seize the future and claim my birthright as king. But if I slip out to sea sometimes, I don't think she'll mind because she'll be right there next to me, keeping us both on course. With your permission, sire, I'd like to make her my wife. My permission? No. Ariel can speak for herself. Yes, Eric. Oh, yes. Can't be happening. No. Wrong after bedtime of that idea. Are you the boy's father? Me? Oh, goodness no. His majesty passed many years ago. I am simply his guardian. Nothing more. Well, I bet he'd be proud of both of you. Why, thank you, sir. He, he is my one shining achievement, a bright light in the dark world. Well, and I suppose congratulations are in order to both of us, my friend. Thank you, and to you, sir, and to you. If only you could stay and never say goodbye. If only I could make time stop, believe me, I would try. But fathers have to learn that daughters have to grow. And if you truly love them, you must let them go. And oh, I love you so, if only you could know. Tall tales and superstitions, eh, Grim? So he is truly the king of the sea, and, and she is his daughter? Does that upset you? <laughs> Goodness, no, I'm just relieved she's royalty. Forward, standing 
people I've ever met in my entire life. Yeah, guys, every single one of us through this entire production, it is a large production, you guys, and there are so many moving cogs and parts, and somehow, with the help of two of them, they made it all work, and I don't know where they are. And, oh, I see them, they're okay. coming.